are here with Deva, who is a working ball, and we should speak about why the sustainable life is the real life. The first point is, you will uh, not eat your, your money and you not will drink your oil if your uh, table is empty. If the oil, the flu, is finished and uh, no more food, what the society will do? So we are working here with oxen and they help to us to produce grain, which is our food. And uh, of course we have cows and we have milk. So if you have your, your cows and oxen, they can help you to produce your own food. And uh, in the future, if the oil will finish, maybe you can find some other methods, maybe you bomb your water and, uh, and uh, you, will, you will find out some new motor which is rolling with, with uh, water or you can make diesel from, from corn or uh, rip seed but still we have a old method which is true by centuries and this method is you take your oxen put them in yoke, go behind them and plow your own field and produce your own food. This is the, the way which was proven by centuries and this, this method can be due in the future until the end of the world. <laughs> so the only question is who will work? <laughs> who, is, who will work with the oxen? Because the modern life do everyone become lazy. If you sitting before the computer and uh, you are typing on the computer, it's much more comfortable like go with the oxen. This is very nice life. This is real life, but this is a bit heavy. And the modern man, they are lazy and don't want to work. How to, how to continue? Who will do this? So the village life, the sustainable life, is means no unemployment. It's a completely sustainable life. You can see here, you can transport with the oxen, you can plow, you can produce your own food, and the flu is the grass. It's sustainable anyway. <laughs>